Hello, hello. I'll give just a minute here for people to find my live stream. I hope you're all doing well as we continue our COVID social distancing in ways. Um, crazy times, a lot of anger and hatred, but also a lot of compassion and patience. Um, I think that's that's the human world we live in, and we don't always agree, which I think is okay. Um, I do always hope and pray for for peace and understanding, though. Um, two wrongs I don't don't make a right, and if we can help further the justice of others without having to resort to violence on either side, I think that would make the world a better place. Anyway, enough of my rantings. I wanted to just take a minute to show you this latest junk journal I completed. This is my music junk journal. You may recall probably the last post I did had the little folios I made. And I have some of the little folios in here. I had plenty of little folios left that I'll incorporate into other things or sell or whatever I might do. Um, but this has a couple of them in. This is an old book cover. Um, I go to thrift stores and estate sales, and if I'm able to find some nice book covers that have the right kind of spine that's easily dissectable, um, I like to do that. So here's this really pretty book cover, First Violin. You can see here um, the spine, and I have my tie going through there so it doesn't get lost. And then here's from sewing in those signatures. Um, I have thought about if I had a really pretty spine, what my options might be for putting it in. I'd probably make an additional spine that I would glue in later. I haven't tested that yet, but that's probably what I would do. So here's the book. I did redo the cover a little bit because the spine, you can see it's getting a little cracked and things. It wasn't in the best of shape. It was in okay shape, but not the best of shape. So I wanted to make sure that I strengthened it up. I put some additional webbing down in there, glued that down, or decoupaged it really to give it some nice strength, make it stronger, and then did a new paper um, cardstock cover that went all the way from one end to the other, again, so I could sew and put signatures in and not have to worry about the whole cover falling apart, and it hid that webbing, because the webbing kind of came from here inside the spine to here, it hid that messiness too. This is just sheets of paper that I actually printed out and inked on. This will be easily journalable, journalable on. So it's some lace on there that matches. <laughs> this funny thing, when I printed, uh, duplexed it in my printer, printing the front and the back, I didn't realize that this side was going to print upside down. So yes, this is upside down. But, you know, the fun of junk journaling, it's just going to be upside down and maybe you won't notice because the rest of this stencil and um, kind of glittery spray is too beautiful and you won't pay attention to it. And the, I like the staff paper because I thought that was a nice kind of way to write lines and things on a music-themed journal. So it's just a piece of... Um, this is printed out. It's coffee stained paper, but I printed it out. I didn't stain it myself. A little pocket here from a little piece of music paper. And this is fun because it's a, a pocket, pocket, pocket. So inside the pocket is a pocket with a tag in it. And then this also opens up to a different pocket with a little card in there. This one you couldn't really journal on. But sometimes it's fun just playing around with it. Here's one of those folios I had talked about and showed you before, right, with some of the tags I made. Here's a sliding thing. I found this actually in a photography art book. And you know Elvis, king of music, right? And then just some music on the back to make that magazine page a little thicker. Or a book page. So I think you can see I did some stenciling on there and just to make it interesting. This is some Italian music book I had. And this was white paper that I inked and kind of did some other coloring and stuff on to make it interesting. Um, and then on this page was staff paper printed right side up that I did some spray on for with a stencil, through a stencil. Here's a pocket I made with a different music page. Right, and then I took 
these little music things and shrunk them down and made them into little journal cards inside there. This is a removable clip. Goes with the paper set that I made the little folios from. It's all part of Graphic 45 set. And that helps hold this in, otherwise it was a little loose. Here's another pocket. The word band right there. Some instruments. Just a plain card I made. Again, with printed paper, and then I glued this little piece on and kind of beveled it so it looked a little more like a file tab. This is from a yearbook, and this is uh, the band, because of course the band has a section in the yearbook, and then I did some other paper that I decoupaged on just to make it kind of interesting, because we probably don't care about the names of all these people that we don't know. All right, and then here's the back of it again, um, tag, some washi. This is another tag I made with a different piece of cardstock and put some staff paper again on the back for journaling. Plus, it makes it nice and thick. Here's a music page with a little envelope I made with different music. And then inside here's a little card. I just jazzed it up a little bit so it wouldn't be plain. Some more staff paper. Here's a pocket I made with a different sheet of music. And I made this fun tag that has, actually, there it is. It has a little smaller tag and this little charm on it. And then this is patterned, but you could easily write on the back of that with a dark colored pen. Um, here's some of that paper that had, it had the stamp images on. I just cut them out so they would look more like stamps. Um, another pocket with the tag. And look at here, little tiny baby tag. Oh, <laughs> in that little tiny baby pocket. Here's the other side of that folio. This tag is really thick. Um, it's heavy duty cardstock, so it's super thick. It makes the journal a little chunky, but it could easily be taken out for writing in, which is probably what I'd do. Right, more music pages. Let's get through this quick. Here's another little pocket. This one I jazzed up a little bit more with washi, again from that paper set. They had some little cards that I cut out. And it's got the pocket in the back. And then a pocket on the inside. Again, made a little... This one I did not bevel, though. But made a little pull-out. This makes it easier to get those... To notice the cards are in there and get them out. Some more of this pretty paper. Again, this is just like um, ink. I literally just took dye ink, smudged it on here, sprayed some uh, water, and dab, 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 and then let it dry. That's how I got these patterns. So nothing at all fancy. This I glued on, just made a little tag there. Here is a wax paper envelope um, made from a wax paper bag. It's nice because it has that little bit of crunchy sound. And then I just made from the paper, again, a little insert that you could easily journal on. I put this tape on it, though, because it opened really wide and it seemed kind of slippery and clumsy. So that just made it a little bit smaller so I wouldn't have to worry so much about that falling out. I just sewed this right on. This is a little pocket here. I didn't put anything in that one. Here's another little pocket that came with the kit. And then this was two pieces, but I made them into a little book. And then there's also a tag that pulls out that you could also journal on in that cute little pocket. If I can get this back in. There we go. Here's another page from that yearbook. This is someone playing accordion. That's good band instruments from back in the day. This just slides. This is two-sided, but if you have it two-sided, it doesn't give words on two sides. So I just liked it that way. Just something to kind of play around with when you're journaling. Here's the other side of that wax paper envelope. Um, here, this one I cut out at the top, so I didn't have to use so much tape. And then I made another matching card with a little bevelly edge there. Get that back in. 
I made this just with some lace. You could journal on this and that. I did that in a different journal and really kind of liked it, so I'll probably do that more often. Just that little lace with the journaling is cute. Here's another little pocket with a little journal card inside of it. Um, I had a lot of these really small little music sheets. They're probably from marching band. Like they looked like the kind you'd put on one of the old marching band stands. I don't think marching bands use those anymore. Um, back when I was in marching band, we used them, but not for very long. Uh, by the time I was done with marching band, I don't think we used them anymore. But that was that size that you would put on one of those little mini stands. And here's some more of that paper again. Just smush the dye ink down, spray, 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 dab it up with the paper. Right in my right side up and then upside down staff paper. Um, that's persistent throughout, you will see. There's these music lessons, I think this is piano lessons. Um, easy piano. And has some notes that were written in by the music teacher, which I think is really cool. Another one of these little cards I made. This is this is that um, those music pages that I said were like the marching band size, shrunk down a little bit smaller. And just a pocket. Here I made a pocket out of a heart. And put a different journaling tag in there. And I like to the heart because the title of this is In Love, and then I don't know what the rest of it is. Um, but it was 20th Century Fox Picture Centennial Summer, so whatever music starts out in love, you would know what the song is. Um, I don't, but I'm sure someone does. Here's a different clip. I actually had this on the other side before. Um, this one I made real sparkly and snazzy. It has some um, sari fabric on that I bought in this pack that someone on Etsy was selling just because I like that kind of sparkle. This also is a little bit thick, so if I were going to journal on the in this book, I'd have to take this out for some of these nearby pages, but I just think it's cool. Here's another pocket. I have a pocket inside the pocket. Right, and the tag. That's one of those little folios. I don't have anything in this little slider either. So there's still some room to stick photos and whatever. Here's another photo from that yearbook of girls um, probably hanging out in their campus dorm room, perhaps. Um, listening to some records. So I thought that was music and band related and just kind of cute. Um, here's some more of those stamps that I made just by cutting out. Pocket here and then here I made just a card with music on one side and that printed out distressed paper. Some little tags. Here's another little pocket with a little tag in it. Because who doesn't love little baby tags? All right, here's another little envelope. There's nothing in this one. I thought I put something in there, but I guess I did not. Music. Here's some ribbon I sewed on. I sewed this on. Some other tag. This has the violin on it, which I thought was appropriate for the first violin. This opens up. Um, this is decoupage on here. I thought I might end up doing more of these, but I just didn't have enough space in the book, so I only had the one. Right, and again here, that's that simple music training book and some of that original handwriting in there. And there it is. So it's pretty big. When I had started out, it wasn't anywhere near that big. And as usual, once I add in all the ephemera, the tags, the ribbons, all the fun, beautiful things, it gets to be a little bit bigger, which I think is okay. I don't think I'm the only one in the world of junk journals who has that. Um... So there, as you can see, I leave some of the strings loose from when I sew. I just like that look personally. So there it is, my lovely uh, music-themed junk journal. I got this one done, actually, I thought relatively quick once I got ready to put it together. Um, and I'll probably take a little bit of a break from junk journaling because I realized I was cleaning out my scrap room, as sometimes we have to do and found lots of vacations that I haven't scrapbooked yet. So <laughs> I have to get to that. Um, my scrapping, scrapping I tend to do kind of in a junk journal theme where it has lots of photos and mixed media and it's interactive. It's almost not appropriate for a scrapbook album, but that's just how I scrapbook. So I have to work on a couple of those and get 
caught up at least on the vacation ones because I have all these pictures in boxes and I just have to get through them so I don't have to hoard all these pictures forever. Um, so I'll probably do that and walk through some of that. It's when I make really awesome pages. I always like to show that. All right. So thank you for watching.